Never thought it would work, but we have combined Steve Spangler Science and Rob Proctor Gardening Who Expert. Knew? It's going to be unbelievable. Didn't that last time we were together, probably 15 years ago, ice skating with yes. fire extinguishers. <laughs> yes. All right, so that was a this long time ago. You have the okay. fire extinguishers, know, not me. Yes. This is safe. There is a long time. So why have you brought the esteemed Rob Proctor? Yes. Because in my backyard, there are these darn things called these Japanese beetle. Yeah. I watch the weekends religiously. I'm watching Rob, and uh, well, here, take a look at the video here, because I want you to see these darn things you've seen them before they have this metallic look on the outside yep. they have five little things coming out the sides of each side you see that these little white things uh, and you can tell immediately Japanese beetle oh and they're horrible they're so big eaters they're big eaters. look at this they are eating absolutely everything there's people out right now going to the the uh, TV going Margaret, get over here. They're talking about the Beatles. <laughs> they, like roses but they, they do, but then watch this. Oh. I want you to see uh, what I brought in that was kind of controversial. It's a trap. It traps these things. A lot of people say, don't do it. And I need Rob's uh, opinion here in just a second. But you wouldn't believe, look at this bag. Look at the bag that we kind of retrieved. Thousands right. of these things. Look at this. Oh, Thousands of them. You in dump them yard? and you do it again. And you do it again. All right, so I had to bring in the, the man here because... Mm. You see all the stuff online, and here's the bag. My wife opened up this little scent. The, the science of it is there's a floral scent, and then there's a sex pheromone. And I guess oh. they like to eat and have sex. Those are the two things that these beetles like they to do. They do quite well, yes. I guess they do well. And, yeah, and there's they, a lot and of them. So she pulls this thing <laughs> off, and within 30 seconds, they're coming at her, and you're saying, I got to, when they say put this far away in your yard, so that's as much as I know, and now you got to tell us, is it okay to hang it in the yard? Is it not okay yes, to hang I it in the yard? Yes, I say go for it. Okay. Even though it will attract beetles, perhaps from your neighbor's yard, be these beetles are not strong flyers. Right. So if you can clean up the neighborhood, right. that is and great. And what did we just talk about at break? We said you take a couple bucks and you buy them for your neighbors as well, and you go, you hang them as well. I mean, we literally got thousands and thousands but of these. But there's more than, than just yes. catching them. Yes. Because, you know, I'm not immune from this, too, but yeah. I just had my garden tour this weekend. The gorgeous And, and you really wouldn't know that we had a whole lot of beetle damage because for the past three years, we've been treating our lawn with grub control because these beetles spend eight months of the year as grubs in your lawn. Grubs, eating oh. R U B S, right? Yes, grubs? Right. eating the roots of your lawn. So if your lawn doesn't look great, it's, it's the because the beetles have been eating the roots of your of your grass. But look at what I've been doing. I've been overwatering my lawn, thinking that my lawn now is bad, and th you're telling me I'm doing exactly what these guys. You just gave them the best <laughs> environment that they could possibly have is, is a not really smart. What wet is lawn. Control though. What are we talking about? Yeah, Chemical. What is that? There are two things. Well, you can do. You can just go get a, a bag of fertilizer that says grub control, mm -hmm. or you can buy a grub control that is uh, beneficial nematode, nematodes, which are tiny, mi microscopic little guys whose main job in life, only job, is to eat grubs. And if I do that now, that's next year's. Once you get them introduced, once you get those nematodes introduced into your lawn, they're they're there forever as long as they've got a food source. So. That's really the most environmentally friendly way to go. They don't bother anything else. They don't, right. you know, attack and that's what this is. or anything is that like that. They're grub eaters. Grubbers. That's what this is. Grubbers. This is different. Okay, this, this is different. Is, I'm sorry. Now, if oh, you God. have them now, besides catching okay. them, you know, they've got favorite foods. They've right. got, you know, hibiscus and roses right. and But they don't eat Japanese plants. Yeah, I, I know. Isn't that weird? That's they don't like home cooking. Yeah. So this is called Beetle Gone. This is a powder that you mix with water and spray. And it... Um, it, it like only targets powder. them. Yeah. It only yeah. targets them. It doesn't touch bees or oh, butterflies okay. or anything like that. Plants. Yes, and it's not a poison. It's biological. It makes them sick. Uh, now we're, we're late. On, we're late on time, but chickens have, uh, could help. Well, These guys you know, here. Steve needs to invent one, but it, uh, they, they catch them and then they funnel them down into a feeder, and the chickens gobble them up. We all need to start raising chickens. Now the other cities chickens. are going to be mad at us too because they're going to go no chickens. Here's the, the overall the plan. Have a plan for your neighborhood. Uh, work it together. Uh, he's got a wonderful story about Palisade peaches and that whole area there. Yeah, they but they seriously, you got to have a plan. The beetle bagger, nematodes, yeah. and chickens are all set. Done. Rob, it's good to have you in on a Monday. Good to see, good to see you. Again. Yeah. Yeah. That that was was very yeah. helpful. I know. So much to talk about. Yeah, Kim always sounds surprised when it was very helpful. It was super helpful. <laughs> Steve's I normally helpful. I, I'm, I'm itching sure. though. I'm thinking about bugs <laughs> ever since I've been <laughs> out here. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back.